So a lot of IS200 owners would agree that the six-cylinder 1GFE is not really that inspiring to drive, manual or auto. Um, many people turbocharge it, supercharge it, swap to the 3SGE out of the Altezza, IS300 2J, but um, plain and simple, the reason why it's so uninspiring is this throttle body. It's one of Toyota's first attempts at a um, fly-by-wire, if you like. I mean, they've been doing a double throttle body setup for ages where they've got a throttle body and then another butterfly, sorry, two butterflies, so a butterfly here and a butterfly there. They've been doing that in 1Js for a while. But this is really their first attempt at a single butterfly that has uh, electronic throttle control. So basically we've got cable still goes to your accelerator pedal yeah no worries when you floor it well nothing happens and that's what a lot of IS200 people feel a lot of nothing so you can tell it I want to do this if the computer sees too slow speed RPM maybe the wrong gear maybe the engine isn't warm enough or the gearbox isn't warm enough it will only give you that much throttle that much throttle so forth so basically you can feel the point um, I mean this one's an automatic one it I don't think it gives you full throttle in first gear at all I think in second gear it manages to get full throttle at about 42 to 4300 rpm which you're doing about 70 kilometers an hour and I mean really when you when you're at speed when you're above 80 k's an hour or so it's it's not really that bad it's got enough overtaking power and it seems to willingness it wants to rev but it's just those lower gears and when you want to take off from a roundabout or a set of lights or out of a corner a stop sign intersection or something you really got to pay attention because you tell it to do something and it really doesn't want to do it it'll just do what it wants to do and give you as much power as it wants to give you so 1G FE has been around for a while in other cars, so I'm attempting to see if I can use this throttle body uh, with that part number to reference maybe one that doesn't have the electronic bullshit with it. So it'll bolt on, same TPS position, have the coolant lines to do a some sort of cold start and hopefully help with some sort of idle control. I don't know how the idle control is going to work. Um, now there's benefits to this system. There's the drawbacks, but the benefits is basically a rock steady idle. And anyone will attest to this. It's it's a very very stable idle. It can be cold. It can be hot. It could be aircon on, power steering. It's a consistent idle. This throttle body adjusts to all conditions so it's it'll give you the, the right rpm at, at all times basically this also controls uh, traction control it also controls cruise control it also controls the snow mode um, with the automatics the the throttle body will actually open and as you're accelerating and then upon a gear change it'll actually close off a little bit just to give you a nice smooth gear change rather than a bit of a jerky gear change in, in older automatic cars. Um, obviously it wasn't meant to be a sports car really, that was the Altezza's intention. This was to be uh, the BMW 318i competitor. So smooth, luxury, refinement, etc. But uh, they missed the mark on the performance I think. So. We might be able to do something with that. Stay tuned, more videos will be uploaded uh, once I start to play around with it. Um, yeah, stay tuned, fellas. Cheers.